Hey, welcome to WPCS. We're glad you're here. The screen you're seeing here is the screen that will greet you when you first log in to WPCS. But before we dive in and get started building stuff, it's best if we go through just a few definitions real quick. While WPCS is a very simple platform to use, it's best that you understand the terminology before digging into the system. Okay, so first of all, products. You can just think of products as simply a workspace. You can click this action button right here and create as many workspaces as you want. Now, some people have one workspace just for their storefront website where they sell their service and another workspace where they control their clients' websites. And you can do it that way if it makes, makes it easier on you. Or you can have your storefront and your client websites in the same workspace. Uh, functionally, it doesn't make a difference. It's mainly just for organizational purposes. Now, one idea might be to have your products contain both your storefront and your client websites, but have different products for each business. You can sell restaurant websites in one product and real estate websites in the other. Uh, of course, that's just an example. The point here is that a product is simply a workspace and it's there for organizational purposes. Now let's talk about versions. A version is your working installation of WordPress. This is where you'll build your initial product and it's where you'll go to make changes or update software later on when that product's built. Now from that version, once it's completed, you would build a snapshot. Think of a snapshot as a ready to go WordPress installation file. Once you're finished editing your version, you create a snapshot from it. And once it's created, it can be deployed and installed to create client websites automatically. And those client websites will look just like the version the snapshot was built from. Now, speaking of those client websites, the last term I want to go over is tenant. Tenants are your client's websites. As I mentioned before, they are built directly from the snapshot file, which came from the version. Also, once you have tenants deployed and being actively used by your clients, they're easily updatable by simply updating the original version and then deploying a snapshot. Once that snapshot is deployed, those updates are automatically pushed to your tenants. We'll be going over this process and some best practices to follow in a later video. Now, I think that's about all we need to cover before we dig into the software. Just keep in mind that a version is where you make your edits to your product. A snapshot is a ready to go installation file and a tenant is your client's website. All right, we'll see you in the next video.